Hi, this is Eric with Black Swan Odysseys coming at you again with another great motorcycle ride here in the Pacific Northwest. This ride is day two of a series of a five day ride in the northeast corner of Washington State. The ride today is from Spokane, Washington to the Nailway border crossing of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. The route we took is approximately 120 miles in length or 240 miles in round trip. In kilometers that'd be about 174 miles. Ponderay River begins at Lake Ponderay uh, in Bonner County, Idaho, draining from the lake on the western edge at Sandpoint, Idaho. Once the river travels into Washington, it turns abruptly north, flowing alongside the eastern edge of the Selkirk Mountains. Ione was first settled in 1894. This was a similar time period when other uh, local towns were uh, incorporated and this was due to the building of a railroad line into the area. Box Canyon Dam is a gravity type hydroelectric dam on the Pendere River in the northeast Washington area. Steamboat oh, services on began right. on, on the Pandere River in approximately 1888 and continued for more than three decades oh. as the chief mode of transportation for people and freight no, in no the region. Seat. Navigation was possible between Newport and the southern edge of Box Canyon, but passage beyond this point was impossible until 1899 when the channel was widened enough to allow limited uh, navigation of the rapids itself. It still wasn't an easy navigation. He probably just floats over. Elmer Arnold, nicknamed Cap, was one of the only <laughs> known good. captains at the time skilled enough to make a run through the Box Canyon on a regular basis. Otherwise, Passengers and freight had to be portaged around the rapids by wagon, then loaded back on to another steam vessel to continue downriver. Sweet Creek Falls rest area, prior to it becoming a rest area, was the site of a mining prospects. Sweet Creek is a picnic area with a short hiking trail. So, this is kind of intimate. The hiking trail to the falls is only paved halfway up.
As you reach the top of the falls, there are cement remains of a once hydraulic mining system. About three fourths of, the, of a mile up the trail that leading towards the falls, there's a shallow mining tunnel reaching back about 20 feet. <laughs> Little paw prints. Yeah. I'm making history here. Hey, sir, 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 can you come take a picture? Don't call me, sir. Yeah. You guys see that? Oh, I did see that. It's like, wow, that's pretty cool. Cool. Right. It looked enough like a wolf for I was wondering if somebody drilled rebar into it and put a sculpted a wolf head and mounted it. No, not at all. Oh, they're really you were standing hard right, so your feet. Yeah, it felt really good too. Oh, really? Yeah, but they're they're perforated. So by the time we get to Dave's house I'll be bone dry. We're here at Ion. We went to Box Canyon, and now we're like where that H is. Okay. And then we just follow this road up all the way to uh, this little, just right to the border there. In 1907, there was a federal project of blasting that, and widening of Box Canyon. This enabled uh, seasonal boat services uh, all the way up to Medellin Falls. The Ponderoy River is one of the few major rivers in the U.S. that flows from south to north. Beautiful. It contributes to about one-third of the natural flows of the Columbia River system. The river is approximately 130 miles, starting in Idaho and traveling through Washington and in, on into British Columbia, oh, Canada. Yeah. Gorgeous. It crosses the international border into southwestern British, British Columbia, looping to the west for about 15 miles before it joins into the Columbia River. Medellin Falls was founded in 1900, with most of the residents and then employed in the Mammoth and Morning Lead Zinc Mines. Medellin Falls was officially incorporated in 1911, and there again, this coincides with a railroad line being put into the area. Man, talk about a hole-in-the-wall community. This is cool. City center. That's kind of interesting. Look at this. It must be an old powerhouse. The road, for the most part, it runs fairly straight with just some very mild curves until you get up past. Um, uh, Medellin Falls and then the road gets kind of curvy and a lot of fun. 
The road surfaces were, were, were good all the way through. No potholes were found, no cracks, no um, tar snakes, and no debris, no sand or anything on the road. How do I know where to go? Just stop. Is look for the sign? The Medellin Falls Nailway border crossing connects the towns of Medellin Falls in Washington to the town of Nelson in British Columbia. This is State Route 31 that travels north in, uh, to the Canadian border. Canada has had a customs office at Nelson uh, since 1900, but this particular crossing did not really exist until the Penderay Highway Route 31 was completed in 1921. The U.S. still is using its first permanent border station at this crossing, built in the mid-1930s. Canada replaced its Depression era border in 1951 and then again replaced it in 2000. Music pause. What's that? What you need? Oh, uh, we just we just stop and we're turning around and going back. All right. Uh, there's a nice pull out down the way. Oh, okay. All right. Random whole mess. Okay. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Didn't he say he had, we were supposed to come back here? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't as uh, friendly as it. No. What's that? That Nissan truck with the two dogs in the oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, that guy was just flying through the curb. He was. And the one dog was humping the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see if I get that on video. I was watching. I was going around it. And when the dogs were, he was humping it. <laughs> he was under reporting. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? You gotta set your uh, suspension mark to uh, off-road. The Boundary Dam is a concrete arched gravity type hydroelectric dam that was completed in 1967. 
up to 46 percent of seattle's um, electricity is generated by the dam Can you imagine being the dudes up there bolting all that together? Oh, yeah. That would make the sphincter pucker. I would never take a crap again. A portion of Kevin Costner's film, The Postman, was filmed in front of the dam. You don't think they grow pot around here, do they? <laughs> Not the Trump voters. Oh, that's a winder. So that ends this ride. From here, it was just looping back south to Spokane. Uh, this was a great ride. Uh, the weather was nice. Uh, the area had uh, very low traffic. Probably part of it was due to, uh, this is uh, done during COVID-19. Also, the ride was done during the week. But we found that most of the summer camp spots were still vacant. Uh, it just wasn't a lot of traffic up there. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next ride.